Picture the following situation. You have a rule base with some rules having a drop or reject action for specific connections. For optimization purposes, the rule base may decide to block the connection at any early stage without a final match decision. This saves on processing time and bandwidth. In this example, if there's a connection from London HQ to HR Public, rules 4, 6, and 7 could apply to it. While rules 6 and 7 match with a connection on the first packet, rule 4 is still in a possible match state as there's still not enough information at this stage to determine otherwise. Even though the connection is in a possible match state, this connection will be dropped on the first packet. This is because all the relevant rules, 4, 6, and 7, have a block action, which drops the connection. This optimization saves the security gateway the need to gather more information on higher OSI layers to reach a final match on rule 4. This early drop issues a log with the rule name CP Early Drop, so you know that optimization was utilized in such cases. In case a relevant rule has an accept action, and all other relevant rules have a drop action, we cannot use early drop optimization. Finally, in cases where all relevant rules have a drop action, but one of them has a drop with block message action, the early drop optimization is disabled. Otherwise, we won't get the block message. In summary, early drop helps us optimize the gateway's processing. If you get a log referring to a rule called CP early drop, you now know that this optimization has been utilized.